My name is Antonio Jose Ramirez Salcedo, and I just graduated a bachelor's in medical laboratory sciences from the Texas Tech University Health Science Center. We had to immigrate here to the U.S., and so I know there was a lot of effort put into it, a lot of sleepless nights that um, led to a moment like this. And so it was a lot of uh, sacrificing also social life and eventually ending with the, the highest of honors, the summa cum laude. That was amazing because not a lot of people are able to achieve this and achieving it as somebody who had to finish learning English while being in the U.S. was incredible. And so um, this puts a great amount of pride into my family, knowing that, you know, everything that they sacrificed was worth it. The professors there were amazing. Each one of them was uh, very specialized in their area, which led to me learning from their perspective and also forming my own. It also taught me how to properly study and finalize my way of just uh, approaching different situations to both academically and in the real life. And that really prepared me for my um, my preceptorship at the end, where I met also amazing supervisors there. And that led me to hopefully obtain a job here in the future. So far, my plan is going to be here to live in Austin and keep doing community service. And at the same time, hopefully keep doing research, find a physician assistant to shadow and eventually I'm hoping that in two, three, maybe four years, apply for PA school. And then in the future, future, uh, hopefully once I'm more stabilized and everything, I can eventually go and get an MD maybe, and then even maybe a PhD, because I love also the research side of it. Um, but for now, it's just here in Austin, keep living life and uh, hopefully find something here. I'm pursuing a master's right now for um, healthcare administration. And I want to, and I'm going to use all the knowledge that I use to one, keep finding a way to obtain scholarships and eventually also graduate on, with a master's, being the first one in my family to graduate with a master's here in the U.S. One of the main things that people, as in, one as a first generation student, but mainly as an immigrant, is that you're going to you're going to receive a lot of no's at the beginning, and um, that was especially my life during my senior year of high school. And I'm going to let you know that even if they keep telling you no, there are ways to finding a solution to all the problems, um, both financially and academically. And so the main advice I want to give to those people is, you know, if you keep trying hard and if you eventually meet the right people, you know, you're going to keep improving and you can keep moving, even though there are going to be always obstacles, because that's the main thing of someone in my background is that there's always going to be a new obstacle coming up and we don't and we don't have the privilege of having someone to guide us to through the process how to approach stuff it's more of you know independent work and having your family support that is very important just focusing on always moving forward talk to people um, never take no for an answer and just keep going for um, any you know future that you want to have you know, you'll eventually get it. Options are endless, so uh, never give up.